What is going on, everybody, and welcome back to Mr. Place. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys the top five rarest dishes in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild that you probably have never cooked. All right, guys, now before we get into the video, quick disclaimer, these are not in any particular order, and each dish might have some other version of the dish that I might not go over. Okay, guys, so at number five, we have the fruitcake. And um, fruitcake, um, what you're going to need is you're going to need an apple, or a wild berry, then any fruit of your choice, then you're gonna need tabanta wheat, and finally, you're gonna need cane sugar, and if after all that, you'll get fruitcake. Now guys, at number four, we have Monster Stew. Now, um, even for playing this game all the way back since in like March 2017, I have never even made this meal before the video. Okay, now the ingredients you're going to need are just any meat of your choice, any seafood of your choice, and finally you're just going to need some monster extract. So not too hard to come by um, all these ingredients, but it's a very, very rare dish. Okay, guys, so at number three, we have clam chowder. Now, this one, um, there's an ingredient in this that's um, kind of hard to come by. So, what you're going to need is you're going to need milk, tabantha wheat, goat butter. But finally, you're going to need a hearty blue shell snail. So, you might have to go down to, like, Lorraine Village and just start, like, looking by, like, the beach and stuff. Eventually, you'll find it. Um, it's not... It's not insanely hard to come by, but it definitely takes, like, a good, like, 30 minutes to an hour. All right, guys. So, at number two, we have seafood paella. Definitely said that wrong. Okay. So, what you're going to need for this one is you're going to need porgy, hearty blue shell snail, Hylian rice, goat butter, and rock salt. Um, all these, all these ingredients aren't too hard to come by besides the, um, hearty blue shell snail. But besides that, um, it's pretty easy to come by. So... Um, yeah, go make yourself some seafood paella. Definitely said that wrong. Okay, guys. Finally, at number one, we have honey crepes. So, for honey crepes, you're going to be needing fresh milk, a bird egg, tabantha reed, cane sugar, and finally, coarser bee honey. Now, if you could do stuff like take out the coarser bee honey and just have, like, plain crepes, and I think if you replace it with a wild berry, you get, like, a some kind of fruit crepe, but honey crepes are definitely the best. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like down below. Also, you can leave a comment down below telling me any recipes I missed or, like, your favorite recipes. Also, guys, make sure to subscribe and leave on notifications so you don't miss out on any new videos. But until next time, peace!